Hello everybody, welcome, welcome back to my channel, my channel. YouTube, YouTube and fitness, fitness, one hour, one hour, one hour, one hour. Today, uh, today, we wish we, we on, on, you, on you a nice, a nice day, day. And, and happiness, happiness. And, then, and then here, here is, is the, the official, official news, news, follow me, follow me. One NRL late mail finals week one mixed news for Sharks Nathan Cleary and Tom Turbajevic are returning from injury for the NRL finals. With Cleary set to play in the qualifying final against the Roosters after missing the last three weeks of the regular season, coach Ivan Cleary confirmed that Nathan is fully fit and ready for the match, stating that his rehabilitation has gone well. Additionally, Matt Eisenhuth has been added to the Panthers' bench, replacing Trent Tolau, ahead of the game on Friday at Blue Bet Stadium, too. NRL Finals Live Cleary returns as Panthers host Roosters for place in a prelim the Penrith Panthers are set to face the Sydney Roosters in a crucial final at Blue Bet Stadium. With a place in the preliminary final on the line, Nathan Cleary returns from injury to help improve the Panthers' struggling attack as they aim for a fourth consecutive premiership. Matt Eisenhuth has been added to the bench, while Brad Schneider is expected to be the 18th man. The Roosters welcome back wingers Dom Young and Daniel Tupo, along with forwards Lindsey Collins and Nat Butcher, to strengthen their lineup. Coach Trent Robinson has decided to keep Sandon Smith as halfback despite speculation about switching Joey Manu to that position. Connor Watson continues to replace Brandon Smith at hooker. With Zach Docker Clay on the bench. 3. Some of the scariest stuff. $315 million QB told to retire after latest H Miami Dolphins quarterback Tua Tungavailoa experienced a concerning head injury during a game against the Buffalo Bills after a collision with defender DeMar Hamlin. This incident raised alarms due to Tungavailoa's history of concussions, having suffered two in 2022. Following the hit, he displayed symptoms similar to a previous concussion. Prompting the medical team and coach Mike McDaniels to attend to him on the field. Fortunately, Tunga Vailoa was able to walk off the field unaided and enter the locker room. McDaniels expressed that such incidents are undesirable. Horror NFL Blow 4. Fears for $315 million quarterback Tua Tungavailoa after scary collision with DeMar Hamlin Miami Dolphins quarterback Tua Tungavailoa exited the NFL game against the Buffalo Bills due to a concussion after a collision with DeMar Hamlin, hitting the back of his head on the turf. He remained down for about two minutes before walking to the sideline and later heading to the locker room, where the team quickly announced the concussion. Tunga Vailoa, who has a history of head injuries, had been having a strong season, throwing for 29 touchdowns and leading the league with 4,624 yards. He signed a four-year, $315 million extension before the season and was the NFL's leading passer in Week 1. At the time of his exit, the Dolphins were trailing in the game. Five. Dusty open to Suns move, latest on Saints Houston chase inside trading on AFL.com.au provides weekly updates on player movement, including news on contracts, trades, and drafts. Recently, retired Richmond champion Dustin Martin has expressed interest in joining the Gold Coast Suns. He has spoken with Suns coach Damian Hardwick, his former coach at Richmond, about a potential reunion. As an unrestricted free agent, Martin can join the Suns without a trade, and the club is considering this option as he explores his future in Queensland. 6. 
Retired Richmond AFL great Dustin Martin holds talks with Gold Coast Suns Dustin Martin, a Richmond legend and three-time premiership player. May reunite with former coach Damian Hardwick at the Gold Coast Suns after confirming he has spoken with the club. Despite announcing his retirement last month, Martin has been linked to a potential move to the Suns, where he could collaborate with Hardwick again, following their successful tenure at Richmond. Suns general manager Wayne Campbell stated that discussions with Martin will continue to determine if a partnership is suitable for both parties. Martin played 302 matches for Richmond, with his last game occurring in round 21 against North Melbourne before his retirement announcement. This season, he played only 13 matches. 7. Gold Coast Suns confirmed talks over Dustin Martin's return to footy Dustin Martin, the Richmond great and three-time Norm Smith medalist, has met with Gold Coast coach Damian Hardwick. Sparking speculation about a potential move to the Suns in 2025 as a free agent. This development follows Martin's recent retirement announcement, surprising many fans. Gold Coast CEO Mark Evans confirmed that discussions with Martin began mid-year, and the focus is now on his interest in continuing his career. Martin was also seen on the Gold Coast recently, meeting with former teammate Brandon Ellis, 8. Some of the scariest stuff. $315 million QB told to retire after latest horror NFL blow Miami Dolphins quarterback Tua Tungavailoa experienced a concerning head injury during a game against the Buffalo Bills after a collision with defender Damar Hamlin. This incident raised alarms due to Tungavailoa's history of concussions, having suffered two in 2022. Following the hit, he displayed symptoms similar to a previous concussion incident, but was able to walk off the field unaided. Dolphins coach Mike McDaniels and the medical team quickly attended to him, emphasizing the seriousness of the situation. 9. AFL Semi-Final Port Adelaide vs. Hawthorne Live Updates Blog Scores and stats from Adelaide Oval Port Adelaide is eager to overcome its reputation as finals chokers in front of its home crowd as they prepare to face Hawthorne. The match is crucial, with the winner advancing to play Sydney in the preliminary final, while the loser's season ends. Port Adelaide has suffered a setback with star player Dixon ruled out due to illness. And Lorenz will take his place as the sub. Hawthorne's sub will be veteran Luke Bruce, who has performed well in this role throughout the season. Historically, teams that have lost a qualifying final have bounced back to win the following week, and Port Adelaide hopes to continue this trend.